we would like to give a big shout out to Kali Sky, who celebrated her birthday during the week. Kali, we hope you had a wonderful day. Good morning, boys and girls, and welcome back. It is so great to have each and every one of you with us today. So today, our Bible story is coming from Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John. Our story is found in four books of the New Testament. And the story is how Jesus fed 5,000 people. But before we head over to our story, let's open up in prayer. Lord Jesus, I thank you for this wonderful day that we have to spend time together to learn more about you, Father God. I pray that you would bless each family and keep all of us safe and healthy, Father God. I pray that we would have a wonderful time together and I pray you pray you'd bless this lesson, Father God. And I pray this in your amazing and almighty name. Amen. Are you ready for the story? Awesome. Let's get started. One day, Jesus was talking to a crowd of about 5,000 men. And that's just the men. That doesn't include the women and the children that were there too. So that must have been a crowd of thousands of people. Jesus had been talking to the people all day long. Now, sometimes when Jesus was talking, the people would lose track of time because they didn't want to stop listening to him because they wanted to hear everything that he had to say. Now, all day is a pretty long time, isn't it? And the people started to get hungry. So the disciples went to Jesus and said, maybe we should send the people home so they can get something to eat. And Jesus said to them, we don't have to send them home to get food. You can give them food. The disciples must have been very confused because what food? One of the disciples named Andrew saw a little boy who had some food on him. The little boy had five loaves of bread and two fish. Not really enough food to feed a crowd of thousands, right? But Jesus took the bread and the fish and thanked God for it. He then handed the food to the disciples and told them to hand the food out to the crowd. And guess what? Everybody got food. That's right. Everybody in that crowd of thousands of people had food. And when everybody had eaten enough food, Jesus told the disciples to go and collect the leftovers so that none would be wasted. The disciples collected not one, not two, but 12 baskets filled with food. Isn't that amazing? Let's read the verse of the day. Our verse for today comes from Matthew 17, verse 20. If you have faith as small as a mustard seed, you can say to the mountain, move from here to there and it will move. Nothing will be impossible for you. So you see, boys and girls, even if we have faith as small as a mustard seed, it's amazing what God can do and what you can do with God's help. In our story today, the young boy didn't even hesitate to give Jesus his small amount of food. And look what Jesus was able to do with that. He was able to feed a crowd of 5,000 or more people. And that's really amazing. Jesus is able to use anything and anyone for good, no matter how small. So even the smallest act of kindness, by showing your friends some kindness, by sharing your food with them or sharing your toys with them, even that small act of kindness can be the biggest act of kindness. So boys and girls, that is it for today. I hope you enjoyed today's lesson and today's story. It's time to get up on your feet because we're heading over to our song and dance now. Bye. So strong and so mighty, there's nothing my God cannot do. My God is so big and so strong and so mighty, there's nothing my God cannot do. My God is so big and so strong and so mighty, there's nothing my God cannot do. My God is so big and so strong and so mighty. spoken the world
deserve to live here on the earth. He healed the sick, he made blind.